Hey, how's it going, Luke and Kelsey? Are you holding up okay? And thanks for getting up real early today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, bless you. Are you? We're good. How are you? I, I'm I'm doing well. I'm actually talking to you from Toronto, Canada. So uh, you guys both have so many fans here, and I want to congratulate you both on this series because boy, has it ever hit taken off! Like what a hit show. And uh, Kelsey, let's just start with you because it's had its ups and downs, especially with the relationship between uh, Monica and Casey, of course. But why do you think? that people are just wanting so much of this show. Oh yeah, it, it definitely hasn't been an easy road for them. Um, but no, I think that, uh, I, I don't know, I feel like what draws people to the show is is that, you know, their fight for family, the the um, the Dutton's fight as well. And, um, and you know, and, it's, and it offers people an escape. These are difficult times and, um, and we're, we're glad that people are enjoying it. Yeah, it's it's I love it. I love it. It kind of reminds me of like when I was a little younger and I was watching shows like Dynasty and all that kind of stuff. Like, you know, Luke, Luke, how about you? Like, was there ever a show that maybe you watched growing up that you were a little obsessed that kind of, you know, makes you think about what, you know, what Yellowstone is all about? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, it, it's mostly films and I just grew up on a lot of like Westerns. My, my, my dad's a real big Western fan. And so I you know, kind of that was always a big romantic idea in, in my household growing up. It's just you know the scenery and the and the and the sort of you know posturing and the things that happen in these in these western movies. And so when I read Yellowstone, it, it felt like a throwback to the movies I grew up on. And then obviously you know Kevin Costner being a part of it and, and him being a part of so many great westerns as well. You know, it was it was all a dream come true, really. I can just imagine. Now, before we, we talk about a little bit about getting into season three and stuff, look, I want to ask you because when when you started this show, how proficient were you uh, on riding a horse, doing ranching stuff, and also you play a soldier too? So, how much prep kind of went into getting into this role for you? Uh, a, a whole lot. I didn't r r ride horses at all. Uh, I had never been on a ranch. I, like I said, like always wanted to, to learn this stuff and, and always loved Westerns and things like that. But no, I, I'm, I never had any experience. And thankfully, uh, you know, our show creator, Taylor Sheridan is, is, a, is all about authenticity and he wanted us to, to know what we were doing. So he, he had us on a horse about as much as he possibly could before we started the job. Yeah, I can just imagine what kind of uh, training had to go into this. But you guys look, you, you look, make, it's good. You're doing a good job. Like, you ever think about now buying your own ranch and a horse? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> nothing better, nothing better. Now, um, Kelsey, season three is, uh, we're just starting into it, and people, you know, fans have been chomping, waiting for it. Give us a little bit of, of background, like, just set us up for what's going on in season three and what maybe we can expect, not, you know, without giving away too much. Yeah, I think that the beginning of, of this season is kind of a, a well-deserved uh, time of healing and, and peace for these characters. Um, and uh, you also see Monica riding a horse, although not quite yes. as well. <laughs> um, Don't worry, you'll get better. You'll get better. It'll happen. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, that was a lot of fun for me. It does. I I it it does. It makes you feel like you're making movies, you know. Um, but yeah, I think that. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, the Duttons are up against um, an enemy that you know. This time around, I don't. Who knows if they'll be able to win? So um, I think that this is really the biggest season so far. Yes, and, and now, of course, um, you know, Monica and Casey, they're, they're on the ranch together, which which is great, finally. Um, and you get to spend, well, you always had to, got to spend a lot of time with Kevin Costner. But, I, I you know, I want to ask you, Luke, when you're working opposite someone of his caliber and such a great actor and such a nice guy, what do you learn from watching him? Um, you know... The thing that I, I really take away from watching Kevin is how dedicated he is. And for someone to have had a career like his, where he's, he's you know, he's hit every goal, he's done everything. He's been in huge films, he's, you know, won an Oscar. I mean, you know, he's, he's, he's done it all. And he still really cares about every scene and every line. 
and and he wants to get everything he can out of you know every word and i think that you know that there's something yeah. to that that's really inspiring yeah he's yeah. he's he's wonderful now kelsey of course um you know listen monica and casey are are star-crossed lovers you know we're so we're happy to have have them together and we just you know like we said earlier the ups and downs of their relationship we've been following that but i want to know from you was it instant chemistry with luke or did it take a while for you guys to jive <laughs> come on spill the beans you can be honest now <laughs> oh my goodness you're really putting me on the spot here <laughs> um <laughs> I, look, I've, I've got it. I've got it pretty good. All right, I'm 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 a lucky girl, and he's an excellent acting partner. So um, so we've we've had fun. Yes, I'm sure. And Luke, how about for you? What what nice things can you say about Kelsey? <laughs> uh, you know, I can't Luke, say enough can nice say? things about Kelsey. She's become one of my best friends, and uh, and yeah, the the bond that we've made, being able to work on this incredible project together, and. You know, it's. I just feel really lucky, and and I feel like I've made a friend for life. Yeah, it's good. You can see it on screen. You guys are, are terrific together. I have to say. Just before we wrap up, I want to m mention um, Luke. I, I, you both have done so much stuff, and and Luke, one of my absolute all time favorite shows I'm, is Brothers and Sisters. Sorry, I still go back and watch them again. The old episode. I love that show. And what a freaking amazing cast! How much fun did you have working on that? To be completely honest with you, I think that, that, that they were going through like by the time I came onto that show, that they, they were going through like changing showrunners a lot, and, and it, it was kind of a confusing yeah. time for them. So I think I don't think I ever really found my footing there, because they, I, I didn't really know what was happening with my character. But the people there, the the cast were truly awesome, and obviously I got to work with Dave Annabelle again on this show, uh, was pretty awesome to play. We've played brothers twice now. <laughs> Uh, and, and another and another person that I think I've made a you know a, another friend for life. So, yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. Well, you did find your footing on True Blood. That's another one. That's like another phenomenal show. But you guys are just so good in Yellowstone. I have to say, congratulations on all the success of this show, and uh, just wishing you both all the best. Stay healthy and be well. That's all Thank I can you. say. Same, same to you. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye bye.